The President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, opened today the first International Obstetrics and Gynecology Conference in Bahrain, organized by the Arabian Gulf University in partnership with Temkin in the presence of the Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh. Sheikh Mohammed noted the establishment of this conference contributes to developing of the quality of health care provided to patients and pointed out that the health care system in Bahrain has witnessed great achievements in the past decade as maternity and obstetric care services have witnessed witnessed a significant development in the past decades. The President of the Supreme Council of Health reviewed some statistics related to women and childbirth in Bahrain, where 82% of those operations took place in government hospitals. He noted that despite the many achievements, there are still many challenges to be dealt with, the most important of which is a significant increase in the birth rate before the expected date. For his part, President of the Arabian Gulf University, Dr. Khalid al-Ohali, emphasized the importance of scientific research and clinical studies to develop many methods of prevention and treatment which contribute to raising the quality of life, extending the life of women, and preserving child health and reducing the therapeutic costs involved in dealing with the repercussions of health problems. The president of the conference, Dr. Dia Risk, said that the conference discussed many recent scientific developments in gynecology and obstetrics. He explained that this sector has gone through developments which made it branch into a group of subspecialties which contributed to the development of treatment and disease prevention. Held under the theme Recent Advances in Women Health, amid wide international and regional participation, today opens the first International Obstetrics and Gynecology Conference in Bahrain, shedding light on several important topics aiming to improve women's health, putting the Kingdom of Bahrain among the advanced countries in this field. The purpose actually is to you know, get the, the, the most recent information, the most recent advance in the technology and, uh, and knowledge and actually discuss between the specialists all these kinds of things which actually enrich everybody and you know, increase their you know, capability and knowledge and you know, uh, skills. And I think it's very important to have it in any place. And I think I'm pleased that in Bahrain we have, you know, uh, in, the, in the last two years actually we have a lot of conferences uh, you know, in different specialties, but this one is one most important thing, and it's first time from its, you know, for its specialty in the in the area. With the participation of 240 doctors, researchers, academics, students and health professionals from around the world, the conference provided a platform for discussion of several recent scientific techniques, new methods, scientific developments and advanced treatments in this field. Issues related to women are very important to us and we have to address this uh, and today we are addressing a health issue for the uh, women and children. We always try to have people in this conference from different parts of the world. We bring uh, our uh, experts from the GCC and blend this uh, in a very nice way with international experts to come and add ideas and enrich our conference with the latest uh, they have in their uh, countries. Results of 10 recent clinical researches were presented during the conference, which also hosted two specialized workshops. Awards for the best scientific presentation and best research poster have been presented to the winners. It's a great opportunity. I think that this part of the world is very dynamic. Uh, we are doing research with the uh, Arabian Gulf University, uh, also regarding prolapse with uh, Professor Risk. We are trying to classify women at higher risk and we are trying also to do research on regenerative medicine. Moreover, an exhibition for health centers was held on the sidelines of the conference, displaying the latest developments of treatment and disease prevention, aiming to improve child and maternal health. Recent advances in women's health and much more is being discussed today at the first International Obstetrics and Gynecology Conference in Bahrain. Hiba Abdul Ghaffar, Bahrain International. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning in cooperation and coordination with Representatives Council began implementing a number of development projects to improve the services provided to citizens and that contribute to achieving comprehensive developmental goals, led by His Majesty the King. The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf, who was accompanied by MP Amar al Benai, affirmed that the Ministry has completed the implementation of the works of the third and fourth phases of the project to develop al Adli roads in the capital government within the programs of developing roads in tourist and investment areas. 
For the first time since its establishment, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, BTEA, is participating in the 26th edition of South Asia's leading travel show, Sate 2020. Supported by the Indian Ministry of Tourism and United Nations World Tourism Organization, the event is currently taking place at India Expo Mart in India until the 10th of January of 2020. Bahrain's delegation is headed by Acting Director of Marketing and Tourism Promotion Directorate, Dr. Ali Folad. The Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix is also being promoted during the event, where visitors at the stand can participate in the fastest lap competition. One visitor will have the opportunity to win two Formula One tickets along with two airline tickets as well as complimentary accommodation in Bahrain each year. This annual event witnesses the participation of more than 1,000 participants from over 50 countries, 28 Indian states and 90 cities from across India. BTEA's participation comes in line with its long-term strategy to further develop the kingdom's tourism sector and strengthen its position on regional and international levels under the slogan, Ours Yours, which contributes towards the kingdom's economy and 2030 economic vision.